Sadri Mima Obibiara Akwaba, Eye Air Stories, Ayansa Aka Ena, Ye Be Jai Elkuho, Ama Oma Gana, Ye Mungra, and Semno Emo. The founders of our tradition use the court to do right. And true to it, we are Democrats. We don't believe in violence. We don't believe in mischief and unnecessary political chaos. We came to court believing that the court will do right. And indeed, the court has just done that. The rights of those MPs have been reinforced as well as the rights of those constituents who elected them. I will leave the Ghanaian public to peruse the full ruling of the court and then the discussions can continue. But let me thank the, my colleagues in leadership, uh, especially the hard-working majority chief way for all the support and his industry. I thank senior members of parliament, Uncle Joe Gatti, Honorable Kennedy Japon, not the least, Uncle Katie Hamo, and others who have been supporting me. Again, equally important are my colleagues in the back bench, especially those who lost their primaries. They've been with us thick and thin. The whole of last night we didn't sleep. We've been working all night. I myself, being a practitioner of, of our courts, made sure we put together a solid case and this afternoon we've had justice. Now, those NDC people who are, you know, walking all over the place, claiming, proclaiming, if they, they know... Also know the background to some of these constitutional provisions, mm. then you can contextualize it, that is, put it in context. Right. It appeared first in the 1969 constitution, that is, this idea of protecting political parties so that their members would not run away or cross carpet, as we used to say. Right. Cross carpeting was an instrument used by the Convention People's Party to destroy opposition parties. In other words, they removed your membership away from you mm -hmm. by making them come to the majority side. Right. And it happened so many times. In fact, every elderly person can tell you what happened about carpet crossing in Ghana. Mm -hmm. Therefore, in the 1969 Constitution debate, if you read the debates, you realize that in order to protect political parties from their members being stolen, mm -hmm. if you may put stolen in inverted mm -hmm. commas, we have to provide some provisions that will protect the political parties against this kind of what we call robbery. Therefore, it was put in that constitution. If you cross carpet, you lose your membership. So that people will think twice. Before doing so. Before they do they would they would do so. Mm. And then it was repeated in 79 and 1992. It is very, very important to know this background because it tells you to whom does the benefit inure by way of this constitutional provision. Right. It inures to political parties. In other words, for a political party in particular to say, this is our member, he or she has moved to the other side, mm -hmm. he cannot move to that side, she must forfeit his seat. Yeah, because you can't benefit, you can't benefit from both exactly. sides. Exactly. It's a way of uh, uh, disagreeing with approbating and reprobating. Mm. The political parties are one of the pillars of democracy in the constitution. Mm -hmm. They are to be protected. And they too are to do their internal administration by that constitution in accordance with democratic principles. Mm. So it cuts both ways. Right. They are protected, 
and they too must act responsibly. Mm -hmm. Let us start, for example, with what happened in the last parliament. Which you presided. Which I presided it, over. I'm sure in the case of the current Deputy Speaker of Parliament. That is so. It was a very interesting case. In fact, it was some parts of the executive which initially were protesting. I told them they have no locus in that matter. Protesting against what? No, no, it was protesting against the, the former MP. This continuous allegiance to the exactly. MP, even though they exactly. far to contest that is as so. an independent candidate. I told them they had no locus in that matter. If they wanted to do what they purported to do, mm -hmm. they should let their party do it. First sack him from the party? Exactly. Or recall him from parliament? Exactly. First dealing with him as a party person, mm -hmm. then other things will roll. So, if you don't get the background well, you will be misled. Okay. So, the NPP, as a party, wrote to the speaker, stating why they were withdrawing their support, because according to their constitution, this person had betrayed his allegiance to the party. First. Yes by contesting against the official candidate of the party right so it means that if you want to invoke this constitution you must also show where by your internal constitution that particular person had flouted your law and they showed it that if you contest against the official candidate of the party you are liable to expulsion from the party. From the party. In other words, you become an opponent to your own party. Uh, exactly. You become an opponent to your own party. You have put it very, very right. And if you do so, you forfeit your membership. And for that matter, the speaker should kick him out of parliament. So the MPP wrote to you. So the MPP wrote. Complaining about the conduct exactly. of their own member. They were making some demands. I told you from other sources. I said, you can't. Let them tell me. When they wrote, by the tenets of natural justice, mm. which all lawyers know, I had to hear him. I had to let him comment on what his party had written. We call it the audio terum partem rule. Hear the other party. So I attached a copy of their letter to my own uh, communication to him and gave him a certain number of days to respond to that query. Seven days. Having received it, he chose not to respond. In fact, he made a statement uh, on, 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 on air that he would not contest and that he was up for him he was only going his way so you, you you forwarded the mpp's letter that they wrote to you to him yes asking for his response exactly and he did not he did not yes. respond to you you did cannot not judge to you. a person without giving fair without hearing. giving him fair hearing and that is why actually be a speaker of parliament is a legal matter right you have to follow the full tenets of the law so he had that opportunity and he chose not to be part of that process Okay. Having chosen not to be part of the process, I had to do what the law says I must do. Even though without his input. Without his input, because he has chosen not to respond. To you officially. Or to the official letter. But you have to give him the he opportunity. Had indicated in the public space that he was contesting he, he, he as an independent candidate. Was, yeah, exactly. He was not interested. Okay. 